What's going on, world? Eric Lawton here from Battlebred Canines, the channel dedicated to the working dogs we all know and love. And today, I want to discuss my absolute favorite dog breeds. This list is not in any particular order or ranking because that changes every day for me because I'm a psychopath. I just decided to put this list together to show you guys the breeds I like most. Before we dive in, don't forget to stomp on that like button and subscribe for more free content. Also feel free to visit BattlebredCanines.com for updates and free downloadable content. As always, I appreciate your support. Now let's dive in. Number one, the Rottweiler. I'm mentioning the Rottweiler first because I actually own one myself and I have to say he is the most obedient dog I've ever owned and I've had many dogs throughout the years. These dogs are the bomb diggity, yes I'm bringing that back. The only thing I feel the Rottweiler lacks is heat tolerance compared to other breeds. They can also develop dominance issues if not handled correctly. Outside of that you can't go wrong with a good Rotty. It should be noted that my Rottweiler does come from quality stock. He's very athletic and doesn't suffer from any of the hip or joint issues that most large dogs are prone to. He just turned 7 and can still keep up with my pit mix when it comes to his working abilities. Number 2, the American Pit Bull Terrier. As I've said in previous videos, the true American Pit Bull Terrier is in a lane of its own. I have owned a few of these myself. They are in my opinion probably the healthiest breed out there. These dogs are tough as nails. Again, we are talking about the real deal game pit bull terrier. Now, unless you are extremely careful with these animals, you can easily run into trouble. Most of these dogs are not human aggressive, but there are pit bulls on record who have been. I would be more concerned about the safety of other pets more than anything. That aside, there's nothing these dogs can't do. Number three, the band dog. Now, the band dog is more of a type of dog than an actual breed. My good friend Lee Robinson has created a strain over the last 20 years called the American Sentinel. Now I would consider this a breed of its own. It is a young but very consistent line. When people think of the word band dog, they usually picture a pit bull mastiff type cross, which is the traditional recipe of a band dog, but that's not all there is to it. A true band dog must be proven in combat with personal protection or catch work. Number four, the boar bull or South African mastiff. Now I'm still new to this breed, but from what I gather so far, these dogs are no nonsense. They are usually a very large dog that can still move. They are considered to be more of a pack animal than the previous breeds mentioned in this list. My good friend Roman from Integrity Boar Bull Kennels produces some pretty impressive examples of the breed. Number 5. The Cane Corso, also known as the Italian Mastiff. Now from what I've been told, these dogs have been compared to the Rottweiler when it comes to their temperament. That would make sense considering they both descend from the Mastiff dogs of the Roman Empire. I will be covering the Cane Corso in future videos. We are actually thinking of starting a Cane Corso breeding program out of New York, so be on the lookout for Battlebred North. Number 6, the American Staffordshire Terrier. Now these dogs don't even come close to the working ability of the closely related Pit Bull Terrier, but I absolutely love the way some of these dogs look. If anyone knows of any great Amstaff breeders, give them a plug in the comments. I have been on the lookout. Number seven, the Belgian Malinois. This is another breed I'm still learning about, but from what I can see, these dogs are truly amazing. When I look at the drive and lightweight build, they remind me of a pit bull in a lot of ways, but they are generally more human aggressive. I will eventually be putting together a video on this breed as well. So that about wraps it up for my favorite dog breeds. I know this was a quick one and I'm sorry if I left anything out, but these are just my personal favorites. Remember to like, subscribe, and share. I will see you guys next time. I love you all. God bless.